tick it off, put the points in the bag, get on the bus and go home and get ready for another big game on Sunday. Beast from the East? <laughs> Forget it, we're the best from the North West. That's right folks, back once again with another match review, this time picking apart Blackburn Rovers midweek win up against AFC Wimbledon at their place. We'll talk more about that lovely result in just one second, but if you're new, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. That's right, Rovers had their vengeance on AFC Wimbledon at the King's Meadow when they ran out 3-0 winners. It was a game of two halves once again, but Blackburn Rovers did take the lead on the 30th minute thanks to a bit of a ghost header by Bradley Dagg. I'm not too sure. I've only seen it the once, and that one time that I did see it, I wasn't too sure that it crossed the line. But I'm sure once the replays come up and available online, we can all examine it with a fine tooth comb. But who cares? The, the referee says yes, and we got the 1-0 lead. Into the second half, it was a completely different story. And then we got our second through Elliot Bennett at about bloody time. And what does Elliot Bennett do? He scores screamers, and yes, it was a belter. Definitely goal of the month contender, but it will also be in the hat for goal of the season. And then, then it was back to Bradley Deck to wrap it up with the third. And again, a pearler of a goal. Lovely, fine touch. It just shows the quality of a, of a player we have. And at League One level, it's absolutely bonkers what this man's been doing this season. So let's take a look a little bit deeper at the match. Here's the statistics. Uh, for once, Blackburn Rovers dominating possession, 57% compared to 43% for Wimbledon. 11 shots for Rovers, 5 for uh, Wimbledon. 5 shots on target for Rovers. Wimbledon didn't have any, so a bit of a quiet night for Naomi. But he was on his toes. 4 corners for Wimbledon, only 2 for Rovers. And we were the dirty side with 14 fouls compared to 8. Let's take a look at the lineup now. First and foremost, our hosts. Wimbledon, Long with the goal, Fuller, Robinson, Orishawa, Meads, Frankham, Trotter, Abdu, Forrester, Bartram and Taylor. Now let's take a look at Rovers. This is how they lined up. Ryer in goal, Naimbi, Lenahan, Mulgrew, Williams, Bennett, Dax, Smallwood, Armstrong, Graham and Payne. Now let's take a look at my match ratings for the players. Bit of a hodgepodge. Uh, Ryer with an eight. Yes, he might not have had that much to do, but he was kept on his toes with a few shots. And I thought he was very commanding in his uh, box today. Now, Yimby had a seven. Len had a six. Mulgrew had a six. And Williams had a seven. Both the, both the wing backs or the full backs or whatever you want to call them uh, had very active days. Always on their feet. Uh, and then we can move into midfield. Better had an eight. Smallwood had a six. Two contrasting halves for the, for the midfield pair. Obviously, Smallwood doing a lot of the donkey work. Um, but he did look a little bit lacklustre at times. Uh, moving forward, uh, Dak had a, a 9 out of 10 belting performance. Once again, everything creative. Moving forward, we've got Bradley Dak who had a 9 out of 10. Everything creative is coming through him. We do have other creative players on the pitch, including Payne and Armstrong. But really, without Bradley Dak, we would be a few, like 10, 20 points adrift. Uh, of where we are today. So full credit to him. Glad to have him back. Moving forward, Armstrong had a six, Graham had a six, and Payne had a five. I thought he had a bit of a stinker. And for me, he's not really won me over yet. I'm still waiting for the for all the fanfare to kick in for Payne. I think he's very lightweight uh, when compared to Dak and Armstrong. Armstrong didn't have the greatest uh, game either, but uh, he did run his socks off. And uh, he did make himself a bit of a presence. And as for Danny Graham, he did a lot of the hold up play, but no goals today. So, you know, all in all, not the greatest uh, marks out of 10 for him. Uh, but cracking second half performance once again, Rovers. Uh, moving forward, we do take on Wigan at Ewood Park on Sunday. That's a massive, massive game. And we'll talk more about that in a preview show, which will be around about 24 to 48 hours, depending on what else is going on. Now, you've heard a little bit of what I've had to say. What's the gaffer been saying? Let's take a look and listen to what he had to say shortly after the final whistle. Um, how do I feel? Um, just ticking another one off, really. I think for us, it's uh, they're all difficult games. Coming to uh, Wimbledon is never easy for anybody. I think they play, they make you defend, they play forward, they're very, very competitive. Um, I think they carry a goal threat. I think um, we have to be very professional, really. So as I said, the players there, I think they're professional performance from us, really. I think. Um, Tick it off, put the points in the bag, get on the bus and go home and get ready for another big game on Sunday. Um, I'm trying to think. All right, this header, yeah. Um, listen, we have to, we have to trust the officials got it right, really, as as they do. You know, I'd, if it had been against us, I'd have been wanted to see some footage. Or and yet, um, listen, bottom line, the linesman's right there. He sees, he puts his flag up. We we um, take the goal. Um, and that, as you say, I think that's settled us down because it's it's difficult to come to these places. To be fair, you know, it's a tight environment. It's uh, 
crowd are right on top of you. They're very, very competitive. I think when everybody plays Blackburn Rovers, it's a big game in their minds as well. And they've, they had their own, they've got their own battle at the other end of the table anyway. And so it was always going to be a tough game. But thankfully, that first goal settled us down and we, we, we got the points. Listen, it's a long time coming. Elliot's got that in his locker, to be honest. It was, I was going to leave him central and put Corey tucked in off the left. But I've, uh, I've seen Elliot do that end of last season. He, he can step in on his right foot and he's got an unbelievable strike. Invariably hits the targets and he did that today. And um, Delighted he, 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 this was the time he got back to scoring ways because I know he can do that. But generally coming in off the left on his right foot, he's, he's very accurate and delighted it came tonight. Well, you know, Bradley's been ill, hasn't he? He missed the last game. We managed to get a victory at Warsaw without Bradley, it's, um, but he is very important to the team. I think the boys are having a joke on there. Danny Graham, like a flying left winger out there, skipping past the full back and putting it in the box. But um, that's not. The camaraderie of the group is really strong. The spirit is really strong. You know, they they really working hard for each other, and, and we're getting the rewards at the moment. It's good to be at the top. It's um, and yet we've got uh, you know probably a defining game at the weekend against Wigan. It's um, I'd, I'd, I'd say I'd rather be in our position. You know, we've played the games. I, God knows when they're going to fit in four extra games. You know, it's the, there's still in the cup to play. So that could be five extra games. It's. Um, and yet that's not our problem really, we just have to win our games as they come along and the next game is a big one against themselves, if we can win that then it, it really they'll look at the table and see the games in hand but see that they're going to have to win most of them to get back on top so um, we just do what we do at the moment, try and win football matches and, and let everybody else look after themselves. Yeah, listen, I, I think it's a, it's a wonderful little club, obviously I'm, I'm a football man and I remember 88 and I remember that, you know, it's a fantastic club, it's, it's, a, it's a great story, I'm reading the programme that they're hoping to go back to Plough Lane someday and um, great credit to the people who work here to get the pitch manage, manageable and playable tonight. Um, it's good playing. It feels like a full stadium, you know. It's um, for our supporters to come on a to come on a on a Tuesday night all this way through the weather that the whole country's suffering is a fantastic effort. And and every game we've been away from home this year, they've filled out the stadium and um, and sold their allocation out, and it's quite amazing. We're just we're just pleased that we can reward them with victories like we did tonight because they've been amazing all season on the road. Um, he had an ankle injury. I think he. he, he Got caught by a tackle pretty late on in the in, in the Walsall game. Um, he just swore up quite badly, to be honest, and um, we just decided it was not worth. You know, we might as well get treatment for two days rather than spend a whole day travelling, um, and then getting back at three half three in the morning. We'll get back to Blackburn tonight, and so we felt it better he got treatment rather than come, and because there's a lot of important games in the future. Now you've heard what the gaffers had to say, what the players and the fans have been saying on social media. Let's take a look. Marcus Antwitzer kicks us off. Brilliant performance today from the lads in very hard conditions. Thanks to the travelling fans. See you all at Ewood Sunday, baby. Harry Chapman, he wasn't on the pitch or even in the squad. Great result for the boys tonight. Dax on flames again, and buzzing for the big bro, Bennett. On his goal, much deserved. Elliot Bennett, magnificent 3-0 win, to, win tonight. Had a tough place to go on a freezing Tuesday night. That was for you, travelling support. Incredible once again. 11. That's right, 11 to go. 3.3 goals and a clean sheet, says uh, Ryan Nimby. Shout out to the travelling fans. Safe travels back. Meanwhile, Derek Williams. Good performance tonight. Three points and a clean sheet. Thanks to the fans that made the trip down. We, uh, we get ready for Sunday now. Meanwhile, Darren Lenehan. Brilliant win tonight in difficult conditions. Big one on Sunday. Meanwhile, David Raya, very important win away from home on difficult conditions. We did the job and took the three points home. Uh, uh, always happy to keep a clean sheet. Massive support again from the fans. Uh, have a good, safe journey home. Meanwhile, we are the Rovers, which is Mr. Mac84. Perfect preparation for Wigan in Sunday. Can't beat uh, going into a big game when you're in great form. Well done, Rovers. Special credit to Bennett for a cracking strike. Meanwhile, Beth Christina, 11. I think I can say for all of us how amazing it is to see the passion the players and the staff have for our club now. To bounce back the way we have laughed after last season is outstanding. There's a lot of love at Rovers at the minute and a long may it continue. Hashtag Rovers. You're right there, Beth, but it's job half done at the moment. We're not across the line and I'm sure if we do, I know we don't want to paint this, this the picture on the wall or, or paint the, the image in, in everyone's brains, but if somehow, we, and I don't want to even think about it, but if somehow we do not get the job done, you know, all that camaraderie and all that love and everything. How would everybody feel if that situation were to come up? Hopefully it doesn't come up and hopefully we can make a statement on Sunday, actually extend our lead to maybe seven points 
Uh, but who knows? Anyway, moving forward, Northern Rover, beautiful three points, good performance. On to Wigan we go. Hope the 700 odd travelling fans enjoyed it and have a safe journey home. Legends, the lot of you. Meanwhile, George Nelson, Elliot Bent, deserved that goal tonight. He's an absolute credit to the club. Here, here. He's always he's such a quality guy on the pitch, and he's an even better gentleman off the pitch. Meanwhile, Rach Smith says such a good win, three points on the board, still top of the league. What more? The travelling and sitting in the cold was well worth it, and of course to see Bennett get a goal. What a screamer that was. Meanwhile, Robbie, four points, slowly but surely pulling away. Come on, boys. Meanwhile, Rovers tweet another win. Keep this run, go run going with the biggest game of the season on Sunday. Proud to be a Rovers fan at the moment. This team doing their all and finally a squad we can relate to as fans. Buzzing. Meanwhile, Arian Quaynor said, amazing Rovers, 3-0 away from home. So happy for Bennett. Always wears the shirt with pride and deserved the goal tonight. Love the Bennett fist pump. Massive game on Sunday. Bring on the pie eaters. Meanwhile, uh, Bet365 posted this. Only one player scored more goals in League One this season than Bradley Dack. And that's 14 goals already. Not bad for a midfielder. Meanwhile, Steve450952444 said, Got the passion back for Rovers. Thanks to what Tony Mowbray is doing. The togetherness of the squad and the affinity they have with the fans is special. Players like Bennett and Danny Graham show their gratitude for the fantastic support they get by leaving nothing on the pitch. Meanwhile, Marie... Corley said, well done Rovers and great to see my fave score, Bennett. Meanwhile, Woods, Fruit and Veg, what a win. Well done, some great goals from Bennett, Dak. Come on, we can do this. Meanwhile, Ross Entwistle said this. Yes, Rovers, three more points in the bag. Good to see Bennett get on the score sheet too. Tony Moby's Blue and White Army. Meanwhile, on the book of face, the positivity brings rewards yet again. Another solid win and another three points in the bag. Elliot Bennett, nice goal. Go again at the weekend when we go to get another three points and further tighten the grip on the automatic promotion places. I know we will struggle to finish ahead of Wigan, but Shrewsbury are wobbling and we are triumphing. Come on, you Blues. We are going up. While Rick Ashton said this, why are people having a hissy fit over Wigan having so many games in hand? What do you think it will do to their state of mind going into Sunday's game six point off the top? You don't think that will affect them at all? Not to mention all the extra games and a cup run? They botched it, he says. Meanwhile, Frank Andrews said, just thinking any result except a defeat will be good on Sunday, but a win will be fantastic. Also, some Wigan players will be short of match practice due to the fact that they rested seven players against Rochdale, so won't have played for over two, over two weeks. We are on a roll. Meanwhile, Callum Atkins said this, solid performance. Good luck to Wimbledon for the remainder. Hope you stay up and I'll leave you. Well, I ain't going to leave you, but the last one that I'll see. Name a better attacking duo in the world, uh, in world football. I will wait. Hashtag Rovers. That's what I'm talking of. Ewood. Uh, meanwhile, around the grounds, there are a couple other League One games scheduled for today, but only, only one more took place, and that's Peterborough up against Warsaw. Newly, newly fired manager, Peterborough, and they won 2 1 against Warsaw. Bristol Rovers against Wigan. Could not uh, dodge the weather, apparently. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Uh, I also want to give a big shout out to the guys at the BRFCS forum. If you've not checked out that forum, make sure you do so. It's a great opportunity for you to chat to fellow Ra for Rovers fans around the world and down the road. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter if you want to check me out. Links to those places, including the BRFCS forum, in the description below. So, yes, a perfect start to the week. For Blackburn Rovers. We do get to enjoy this Saturday from a uh, bird's eye view, looking down on the other teams chasing below us, including Shrewsbury. And then it's the big one, the big one we've all been waiting for, Wigan, their visit to Ewood Park on Sunday. We'll talk more about that on a preview show in about 24 to 40 hours. Make sure you come back and check that one out. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe.